what we read was when you come in here, if you come to the Himba village, mm -hmm. like as he just explained, a man can give the wife to a friend, my brother, okay, yo, take care of him mm -hmm. sexually. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Yes. Funke. Yes. Funke. That's a woman's hand, man. <laughs> a wise man once said, the illiterates of the 21st century will not be those who cannot read and write, but those who cannot learn, unlearn, and relearn. You know, I, I, I just want to know what you guys think of the Himba people. Um, on my end, I think they're... I, I don't know much about the Himba people except what I was told because there's this stigma around them that they are feared, you know, mm. like because of the witchcraft or whatever voodoo they take part in. So um, you never really get a chance to interact with them. It was always like as kids, if you see them in the street and they ask for anything of yours, don't fight them, just give it. Or else when you go home, your family member is dead or stuff like that. So uh, we just fear them like that. It's just... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me understand. Who made you believe that uh, the Himbas got witchcraft and all of that? Our parents. It's stories most that you hear. Like it's stories you hear. So I mean, if your parent tells you like something about mm -hmm. that, or like even not like directly your mother, but your neighbors or like your friend's mother told them that, then they'll come tell me like, "It's a no, my dear. Quickly cross her. The Simba guy is coming." And you're like, "Why are you scared? No, my dear. This people are gonna like." you know like juju your family and you know so it's like just that we're like oh okay wow i'm not here to blame them neither their parents but colonization made so many africans hate their own and i believe it's time to unlearn relearn and embrace our own <laughs> <laughs> fresh i think so welcome to the himba village which is 40 kilometers away from opo i hope i'm mentioning it right but hey do you know the meaning of opo opo means the end from the hero language i mean the people of himba are definitely hero so that's the language that they speak we drove like 750 kilometers away from vinduk just to get here i mean most of you will be wondering Maya, why are you doing this kind of videos? I want to tell you that it's time for Africans to take control of their own narratives. It's time for Africans to tell their own stories. You know, I've always wanted to take Africa to the world, but I want to show you the positive aspect of Africa that no one shows you. But I also realized that stories like this are missing. Anytime you see stories like this on social media, it's always told by Caucasians, people that don't look like us. And I feel like these are our own people and we just have to come in here and live just like them, know the way they live their own life. That is why it's very, very important. And I'm not here to tell their story for them. They are going to tell their own story. I'm just here to learn. I'm just here to educate myself and I will use my platform to educate you. So this is what I want you to do for me. Like the video, very, very important. And don't forget to share because this video is gonna be very entertaining, informative, and also educative. Already? Yeah, it's the morning time now. Mm. Yeah, very, very early. It's, it's almost six now. Oh, wow. 
Okay. Mind your head, please. Oh, yeah. sorry. And what? Yes. Where do we go? Where do we go? Going here. Outside at the fire. Whoa. I, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. On the way. Yo, it's so cold, man. <laughs> See? Where are you going? I, it feels so warm here, man. Oh. I must wake up at this time. No, Take a blanket there. Blanket? Yeah, take your blanket. Wait, wait, wait. Take your blanket. Take your blanket. Take your blanket. Yeah. Take your blanket. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Hey. Feels okay now, yeah? Okay. Moro. Ah, uh, more, more. Okay. Oh, cool. We are going to sit there at the holy place, hmm. and then we can talk stories. So everybody will be coming here. All the men will be coming. They will oh. join us at the holy place. Okay. Even the boys, they will join us at the holy place. So we can sit here. We can sit here. Okay. This little one. Hey, Moro. Moro. Ah. Me, I'm going Moro. To oh. He's so close to the fire. He's going to move when the fire starts light up. Wow. Yeah. So in, in most cases here, uh -huh. it's only for men. Oh. Women they don't sit on this on this stone. So what do women sit on? This holy place. They only sit there around the men. Oh. So in men here, they have to share stories. Oh, okay. About uh, what happened, what are we going to do? So most of the stories, we, we, we keep it very secret from women because we believe that women do not have secrets. <laughs> because they, they share too they much. Share, they share, they gossip a lot. Yeah, they gossip yeah, a lot. Yeah, true. Yeah, maybe we need to go and we need to go to the place. We need to move from here to move all our animals from here to another uh, village. Oh. Yeah, but then we have got like temporary two villages. We have got a permanent one and we have got a temporary one. So a permanent one. Uh, a permanent one is is like this one. Okay. Yeah, this is a permanent one. But uh, <coughs> a temporary village, we only go there because of the the grazing. Hmm. Yeah. To so, oh, so you rear cattle in here? Yeah. When we have cattle and goats, either any any type of animals you have, you are farming with, but especially the goats, and then we move them to that to that uh, temporary village. Mm. And when we have to move them. Women are not always friend, uh, friendly with that. They always complain about moving. They don't like to move because they always stay here with the children and things. But when you decide that I'm going to take this and this, so you must keep it secret from them because you don't negotiate with them. You only tell them that we need some girls and maybe can be uh, can be who can gather can you know like that and then they can make a choice if they are five or six mm. they can make their own choice to move to go which one will go to the temporary village wow so and then you always when you move to that temporary village mm. you always don't want them to split the news that's why you keep it secret because when their boyfriends come in the night or friends come in the night they will tell because they talk <laughs> Women they talk and then they will say, no, 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 uh, we heard that our father is, is going to move to a, oh. a temporary village, uh, to that area, to the, maybe to a Chinungwa te uh, temporary village. And if you mention a Chinungwa, then before you move, then the other homestead or the other village will move before you. you. So and then they will, their animals is going to finish the whole vegetation. So it's always good as a good farmer to be the first one in the together. Area. Yeah, and then you, you wow. discover all the vegetations and then they eat. I guess um, this is for the animals. Yeah, you this is, yeah. <laughs> you're doing this for the animals. Yeah, we do that for the animals. Yeah. Do you guys worship animals? 
No. Are they so important to you people? Yeah, animals are important that we use them to our during our ceremonies. You don't sell them? We do now, like in nowadays. But mostly our animals are important not to sell but to do a lot of our ceremonial mm. activities. Mm. Like uh, weddings, like different age of of the of the children, the boys, the girls. The boys mostly they go through circumcision, so we slaughter animals. Uh, the girls they go through um, different stages when they are for the first period, uh, for their first time when they are on period. Uh, they you slaughter animals um, when they have to change different hairstyles. You, you we slaughter animals. What if? Um your son is getting married. Yeah. Do women in here need um, animals or cattle as um, dairy or something? Yeah, we need we need three cattle and two sheep. When your when your boy has to get married. Is there any lady in here who is willing to get married? <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing because he knows that I'm shooting my shot. <laughs> Because, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you know, like two carriers, two sheep is not expensive. Yeah, yeah. So definitely I can get a wife here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, there, there, are a lot, there are a lot single women. So I don't know. Maybe you have to talk nicely with them. <laughs> yeah, it depends. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As the rooster crows, everyone gets ready to start their daily morning routine. Also, the men sit and wait as the women prepare our bathroom ready for shower. I mean, shower without water. Can you believe that? It only happens here in the Himba village. <laughs> Everything off? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, I want to change. Oh, no. But the, so hot. Oh, huh? Yeah. This one first? Yeah, you can. Uh, that one. Yes. As the saying goes, when you go to Rome, you do what Romans do. So since I found myself in the Himba village, I need to dress and look like them. And this is what is happening right now before I take my shower with them. The himbers don't wear pants under their costumes, so I had to remove my boxer short. It was a funny moment. <laughs> Let's go up and do Guys, see? Here we are. <laughs> it's gonna be a good day. <laughs> So everybody is coming here now for shower. Oh, okay. Yeah. Shower together. Shower together. Oh, wow. All of us. Wow. This is okra. Okra here. And okra is this uh, redstone. It's digged out of the ground. And it's coming in the form of this, I mean, it's a stone. And then it's, it's not a very hard rock. It's a very soft one. And then we crush it between stones and to make... Uh, Powder. powder yeah 
And this powder is the one we wash with. You wash like Yeah, how? we take bath. And to us to take bath means to paint ourselves with okra. You don't, you don't use water too? We don't use water. This is, this is our material. I, because I've not showered since morning. Yeah. You know, you can see my skin, I've not showered, so I really yeah. want to shower. Man. Now you are going to shower. Yeah. We, we are all going to shower. All the men are going to shower now. Oh, okay. It's going to be a shower time now. All right. Yeah. Good. So they are going to prepare it. Mm. All the ladies are coming here for shower as well. Oh, okay. Yes. And what are they sitting on? They are sitting on the cow on the goat skin. Goat skin. Yeah, on the goat skins. Yeah. It must it always be goat skin? Yeah, sheep, cow skin. Oh, as well. Yeah. Wait, 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 one second. Wendy Maya, you don't sit on that skin, on the backside skin. You don't sit. Yeah, you, you have, yeah, you have to do it like when you are sitting. You have to do it like this. Yeah, like, look, look at me. Like this one? Yeah. And then put your real ass down. <laughs> oh! You see? Okay. You see? Yeah, we sit like this. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. and, this, that and this one you have to cover the front. Okay. Yeah. And then this one touch there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is oil, yeah. this is yeah. butter. Butter? Yeah. You want to touch my skin with butter? Yeah. yeah. Be free. No, okay. Where do you start from? Hey! <laughs> I'm not wearing anything, man. Yeah. Malang, how do you have it? That's a woman's hand, man! I really want to know mm -hmm. who are the people of Himba. Mm -hmm. So these people, the Himba group or the Himba tribe is a, is a nomadic group. So they live from their animals. Their animals are the only source of living. So they have no much influence or they had no influence of modernizations. Wow. Where did they migrate from? They migrate from uh, southern west of Angola. When they came in here, who are the people that were present in here? Uh, they were Bushmen, which are sand people. The Bushmen left and gave them the land? Uh, uh, they leave a the place because of the pressure. Uh, as they handed uh, the, they hand the cows of the Himba people, and the Himba they were so mad at the Bushmen because they were killing cows. So they had um, uh, a little bit of fight. Then uh, Bushmen, they were a bit uh, defeated. They moved in the southern and eastern part of the country. And the Himba settled. They remain, they settle. The Ovahimba are polygamous with an average of two wives at the same time. But the oldest man in this village has only one wife. Oh, we Goro, Goro, can I shake your hand? Yeah. yeah. Can I please ask you how old you are? I'm mm -hmm. old. Mm -hmm. How old are you? I'm mm -hmm. old. How old are you? I'm old. How old are you? He said, oh, so many years. So many years. He doesn't know the exact number. He, he doesn't know. Can you go on, but I have younger beauty. My my yes is one thousand. What? <laughs> and, and um um, he's married, right? Waguba. Well, yes, I'm How married. Many? I'm married. How many? Magu no aga ndwe ga. One wife. Is polygamy allowed in here? Mago Gugupa and Gombanda Ume Guyanjera. Yes, it's allowed. What? Even three. Three? Why you didn't marry 
Three. I'm that. The other one he says is unwanted. Unwanted. The people of Himba also practice early marriages. Like if you want a wife, you see this one. You can marry her. You see, and then you go through the ceremonial um, activity. And then you have to wait. You must be patient to wait. But then if you marry her when she's like that, okay. then the only f last fight you have to do now is that you must win her. So as we don't do anything with H's, but we do things with stages. So by this, by her H, then this is a time as a husband, you, I, you go there, and then you, you have a chat. So she, she, she get to know you, that ah, I was married by this guy. And this is the one that shocked me the most. We read on the internet, like, if you are a visitor and come and visit the Himba village, mm -hmm. they have to give you a virgin, like especially, oh, welcome. A virgin has to welcome you into the um, community. Is that true? Oh. Uh. Okay, uh, first, at the beginning, I haven't, I haven't understood you very well, but uh, it happened. Uh, it's not a virgin. Uh, if you come as a visitor and you are my friend, you've got no place to sleep. And I have, as I have uh, got married to three wives or two wives, or maybe one, so I can tell my wife that that's my brother or my cousin. Uh, tonight, go prepare a blanket for her, uh, for him. Just a it's happened. No. I mean, in the house. I don't understand. How can I say it? Can I, can I go? <laughs> go raw, bro, go raw. No, no, no. Listen, like, I, I, I read it, and I couldn't believe it. That's why I want you to say it for me. Yeah. You know, you, you can't believe everything that you see on the internet, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why I want to know. OK, let me go raw. What we read was, when you come in here, if you come to the Himba village, mm -hmm. like, as you just explained, a man can give the wife to a friend, my brother, okay, yo, take care of him, mm -hmm. sexually. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Yes. Man, but that's your wife. That's yeah, for you alone, man. That's your, that's your wife. Uh, <laughs> Himba, Himba culture is so different. Because this is made, is make uh, the lady not to start cheating, you know. I want to know what really influenced the way of life of the people of Himba. Because when I came in here, I'm not seeing men wearing shirts, and I'm not seeing even the women not wearing bra. Everything is exposed. What really influenced that? Yeah, actually, us, as nomadic people, our main source, as I said, is animals. Okay. We get everything from animals. We wear skin from animals, we get milk from animals, we get food from animals, we get butter from animals. So animals is the whole source of our living, yes. So even the clothes that everyone is wearing <laughs> yeah. is from an animal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, so, so this... What is they are building a new house? Yeah, they are building, actually they are constructing a new roof. Okay. Yeah. Ah. And what are the materials that you use for building? The material we use for building is, um, this is actually Mopane branches. Okay. And then after that, they, uh, they put on the cow dung. The, on it? Yeah, on, on, on this, on the roof. Okay. Yeah, they will put the cow dung. On the whole house, they will put cow dung. And then, uh, and this is what they have. Are they clay? Yeah. And this oh. is the material. This looks like clay mixed with cow dung. Yeah, actually, yeah. They, they mix it, the clay with cow dung. With cow dung, yes. Oh. Yeah. So you're living in the house. So that's why you said your whole life it's around animal. It's around in... Even your house is built with cow dung. Yeah, with cow Nothing go waste in the <laughs> village. 
So what is he doing? So what he's doing now, he's cutting those uh, branches. Okay. So those branches, uh, we use it as plates for meat. Plates for meat? Yeah, those are our plate. We eat even men, sometimes they sit on those branches and then they eat meat. Wow. Yeah, so that it cannot get uh, the soil, you know. We don't have plates. Oh, know? okay. Yeah. That's unique. Yeah. And, and our meat is being served in big pieces as well and it's being cooked in big pieces as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why are we doing this? So where are we doing this? This is a holy place. Okay. Where we're communicating with our ancestors. Okay. So it is always uh, important that you put fresh leaves, fresh branch of fresh, of fresh leaves uh, to show life. So that any time you slaughter a goat? Yeah, a goat or a kettle or a sheep. You have to put a fresh yeah. branch. Yeah. So if I yeah. can count, yeah. you guys have been slaughtered one, two, three, Okay, my own is four. <laughs> what? This. This is going to be lunch. Because they will cook it, they will cook it for the whole, uh, almost like for three hours. It will be prepared nice, cooked, himba way. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to prepare it the himba way. We don't put salt, we don't do anything. We only cook until the meat is well nice cooked. You don't put salt? We don't put salt. Do you put pepper? We don't put pepper. What do you put then? Nothing, water only. Only water? Yes. Just watch. While the food is on fire and getting ready to be served, they all come together to play. And this kind of game deserves a lot of energy. <laughs> Hey, what do I start with? Oh. Oh. We sit over there and then we eat, okay? Wow. Yeah. The same table they used to slaughter the goats. <laughs> is it? Is it table? You see, it's just to protect the things from dust, you know? Okay. That's, that's the important of that. Okay. Can we get water to wash our hands now? Yeah, water is here. Water is here. <laughs> wash, wash. No, but uh, I wash my hand, it's the red that is coming out. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. You, you see the, the okra is not... It's, it's, it's still on my hand. Uh, okra is healthy, man. It's healthy? Yeah. Are you sure about that? Yeah. yeah uh, and why do I have to wash my hands then? No, okay. no, you just to take off the dusty bit, yeah. Okay. <laughs> but okra itself is healthy. You see, we, you see when children are sick, mm. they're babies. <laughs> we, we put okra uh, in water, we let them drink, and then they're okay in their stomach. So okra... So this is, was cooked just with water? Yeah, with water only. Water only. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And this is pap, eh? Yeah, that is pap. Okay. Yeah. 
I'm gonna taste it. I'm gonna tell you guys how it tastes like. Yeah. yeah. No, just just have a bite. Sure, come on. No pepper, bro. No salt. Ah, okay. <laughs> this is a new thing. You just have to get used to it, man. Yeah. Ooh. And that is healthy, man. Pepper, pepper make you sick, and those. No. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, they make you sick. <laughs> But this this one original cooked one is it doesn't make you sick, you know. Men on their own, man. And how often do they eat this food? So how often? often? Yeah. Oh, every day. Every day. Every day. So this is like a daily meal. Yeah. For the people of yeah. Himba. Yeah. Amazing. Man. Every day, every day. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Where are we now? So we are here at uh, Omungunda Cave. Okay. Yeah. What's it about? It's about uh, singing and, uh, and dancing. That's all. That's where the name is coming from. Because the base, uh, because of the base that reflect down from the ground when people are singing and dancing. So the dancing makes the sound. And the, the clapping of the hands and the sound make the echo. So that's what we call if you the whole combination we call it Omungunda. 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 How yes. long has the cave been in existence? Oh more than four hundred years ago. Because we do have paintings of the bushmen as well. Who so existed here before? Yes. Before the Himba people came. Yes, and yes. Then... Yes. And the paintings existing more than four hundred years ago. Most of the rock arts and paintings, they exist for those years. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're dancing here? Yeah. Okay, so I have to get a dance. Woo! Hey, I need to dance. Hey, 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 So after the dance, all of them go back to their village. This is how it is in the Himba village. Yeah, I mean, this is such a beautiful experience. I'm so glad that I really experienced this. And all I want to tell each and every African out there, I mean, get to know your own people, get to know your own people's culture. And believe me, nothing is beautiful than African culture. I'm so glad. I came to the Himba village. Say bye-bye to them. Bye-bye. Bye-bye! <laughs>